What's up, fight fans? This is Kirk DeVille with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Tyson. Yes, Tyson the Gypsy King Fury and Alexander Usyk. Get what Fury had to say about Usyk as of late. Quote, I think on Alexander Usyk, I think he's a good boxer, a very talented cruiserweight, but I don't think he is no great shake. He's very hittable. He's small. He's light. He's not fast. I think he's something similar to Thomas Adamick. <laughs> I think he's at that level. At ESPN. <laughs> guys, 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 guys. Guys and gals. Tyson Fury has just compared Alexander Usyk to this man. As you can see him getting hit at will against a bigger, stronger, taller Vitaly Klitschko. Vitaly Klitschko um, was a very aggressive fighter in his day. And he threw a lot of punches. He wasn't as tentative as his brother Vladimir. That's what made Vitaly, I think, more dangerous. Nonetheless, <clears throat> if you look at the defense of Thomas, okay, um, or Tomas, however you want to pronounce it, you can see that there is nothing in common with him and Alexander Usyk, okay? And I just find it strange that he would think that after wanting a tune-up fight before fighting Usyk. Because you think if he felt that way, I mean, if he really did, you know, he wouldn't want to get a tune-in before a guy that fights just like freaking Tamak Adamek. Okay? And I think that's a way of belittling Alexander Usyk because he's not fighting Alexander Usyk. You know, and we really don't know, honestly, why the fight didn't take place. But we do know for a fact he wanted a damn tune-up fight. Okay? And that was confirmed on both sides, on Eddie Hearn's side and the uh, Team Usyk side. So two people can't be telling a lie like that, you know? So I don't know what it is with Tyson Fury with tune-ups, but I, I know his pattern. Like I've told you guys, Tyson Fury has a pattern. If he fights a guy that's seemingly dangerous like Wilder, he's going to want a tune-up fight after that just to kind of break the ice to go back in there and, I guess, knock off the cobwebs or keep himself active or whatever he does. you know. And actually, I think that's um, not a good thing to do with someone like Tyson Fury because if he fights guys that are weaker or less opposition – that's in no way preparation of fighting someone that is. You know, I look at it like this. If he fought Deontay Wilder and Deontay Wilder was such a pushover, which he wasn't. Um, and then you want to tune up before fighting Alexander Usyk. He is by default, by default, saying that Alexander Usyk is a lot more dangerous than Deontay Wilder was. Think about it. Hard fight or dangerous fight against Wilder. Then you have Usyk. Oh, no, no, no. Let me get a tune-up first. You know, and what I wanted to compare these guys together, since he's done that, since he's brought Usyk down to uh, opposition-wise, down to Adamek's level, the only thing they have in common is maybe their size, okay? And Usyk's like a foot taller than him or an inch taller or whatnot. Sorry, Wilder. But um, <clears throat> this guy is six foot two. You know, he has six losses, of course. You know, he's been in there with some pretty um, heavy hitters, right? He's got beat by 
Eric Molina, Arthur Spilka. <laughs> you know, those type guys, you know, Vitaly Klitschko. And uh, he took his first loss to Chad Dawson, all right? Uh, but that was at light heavyweight. Now, similar weight classes, um, because Usyk was a cruiserweight, he went from lightweight. Um, then he went on up to cruiserweight. So as far as the migration of size, yeah, sure. You know, I can see what he was saying, but as we're talking about skill, we got an orthodox fighter that's kind of plotting. You know, he likes to scrap. He does have a scrappy style, Adamek does, compared to a guy that's light on his feet, that's a southpaw, that does throw punches and bunch, and he's, and he's very precise. And he's very, very, very hard to hit. Okay, so, you know, Tyson Fury claiming that Alexander Usyk is easy to hit. Well, if that was such the case, he should have went in there and, and, plund and, and just pundled Usyk. Okay, he shouldn't have needed a tune-up fight anyway. And I honestly believe, people, that's the reason why that damn fight between him and Alexander Usyk didn't take place. I think uh, Anthony Joshua asking for more money without even renegotiating you know, a, a counter offer. It was just the way out for Fury. Okay. I I think he could not get the tune up. They wouldn't let him. They were like, no, you fight us now because this is what this is supposed to be about. Not a tune up, then Usyk or us, but us right away. You fought Wilder. You just fought back in October on the 9th. So what the hell do you need a tune up for? All right. So him saying, him countering mentally, because this is a mental attack, right? Oh, well, Usyk fights like Thomas Adamick. That's just you trying to say that he's not as good as you think he is and you want people to believe you. So therefore, people want really want to see him and you. And you now fighting Dillian White, you can market that particular fight. Bars. So I think that's what's going on with him. But none of these guys have anything in common. Uh, at all, not style, not stance, you know, and Usyk's bigger than him. <laughs> but, I mean, they're all smaller than Tyson Fury, so I can understand him thinking that particular way, right? But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Tyson claiming that Alexander Usyk is similar to Thomas Adamick. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys been counterpunch. Peace! Oh, 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 oh,